Hi everyone, welcome back to another edition of Island Girl Foods TV. I'm Chef Raquel and today is a continuation of that fabulous Jamaican dish I made last week, the brown stew chicken. And notice I also had an accompaniment of delicious fried dumplings. So if you're interested in learning, hit that subscribe button hit like, remember to leave me a comment and ring that notification bell so you'll be alerted every week as I upload new videos. And if you're going, let's go. So here's what we'll need to make the dumplings. I have four cups of all-purpose flour, one cup of finely ground cornmeal, one tablespoon and a half of baking powder, one teaspoon of fine salt, and a half a cup of granulated sugar. We also have one tablespoon of room temperature butter. So for my wet ingredients, I have here about a cup of evaporated milk and a half a cup of cool water. So getting started, I'm adding my cornmeal, bacon powder, salt, sugar, and my butter. Now I'm just going to mix around with my hand while I'm breaking the butter into little pieces, turning and mixing with my hand. That's all I'm doing. Easy peasy it is. And now it's time to add my wet ingredient and continue mixing with my hand. All we're gonna do is form this into a ball and then I have some extra all-purpose flour here I'm just going to dust my counter and I'm going to knead this about 10 times And so now that my dough is kneaded, just gonna dust my board here, and I'm gonna break off about, I would say, a little bigger than a quarter piece of dough. And I'm just going to tuck in my edges to make a nice rounded dumpling. That's my first one. And this dough is quite pliable and it will last in your refrigerator for approximately two days. And you can have fried dumplings anytime. These delicious bites of heaven go well with so many Jamaican recipes. I love them with my ackee and salt fish. I love them with escovitch fish stew peas the list is endless <laughs> so now that I have about 12 dumplings here because this is really enough for my family the rest of this dough I wrapped in saran and this is going in my refrigerator for whenever I want more dumplings so now the only thing we have to do is I'm going to press my dumplings down to half the size And as these beautiful little darlings fry up, they're going to puff back up again. And I want to just fry them until golden on each side and until they're done. And here's how we're going to do it. So now that my oil is ready, I'm just going to carefully drop my dumplings in. Now 
making sure that I don't overcrowd. Now they're beginning to come to the top and float. This is exactly what I want. They're looking lovely already. And they're ready. So this is my CN Tower of dumplings. I call them heavenly because they are oh so good. And guys, remember to leave me a comment on what other cuisine or dishes you would love to see. And remember, when it comes to Caribbean cuisine, nobody does it better than your island girl, Chef Raquel Fox.